and retention without counsel. We want an end to a political war that has preyed on the poor. We got to understand that when they said to me at Coretta's funeral that I should not be impolite to the president who was in my house. First of all, first of all, he wasn't in my house. He was in the Lord's house. And I was called to preach the gospel, not according to George W., but according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Do they tell us how to conduct a black funeral? How many black funerals has George W. run in his life? In my over half century in the ministry, I have buried hundreds of black people, and I think I know more about how to conduct a funeral than George W. and Cheney and Rumsfeld and John Hamilton and that was in the black church and funeral. We celebrate the life of the dead, but then we challenge those who are living to pick up the mantle and carry on the work. We didn't come, and I guess George Deputy he didn't come to celebrate Coretta's life because she made good Girl Scout cookies. He came to celebrate her life because she was an advocate for peace and a warrior for justice. And if he didn't expect to hear about peace and justice, he should have kept his White House Texas self home. <laughs>